Hi, I'm Chris Bober with the new Nebraska Realty in Omaha, Nebraska, where it is St. Joseph's Day. I am wearing my red as I hope you are. And in honor of my Polish heritage today, I'm gonna share my fried sauerkraut and sausage recipe. So the first thing I did is I went to the local meat market down at Stoisage of 50th and Q Street, and I got some of the, all the good stuff. I got the fresh Polish, smoked Polish, I got some sauerkraut, horseradish, some furred sourdough rye, and I, of course I got some progies to serve later as well. And when I came home, one of the things I like to do is I like to rinse my sauerkraut. So I took the sauerkraut and I put it in a colander, and then I go ahead and I rinse it off there for a few minutes. And then I just kind of pull it out to the side and let it dry. Then what I did is I went over to the stove and I got about a packet of bacon, and I started frying it up. And you want to fry your bacon up nice and crispy because you want to be able to take that bacon and you're going to pull it out and put it over on a paper towel and let it dry. Then you take the grease that's in the pan with the, the scrapes and scrapings and stuff that are in there and you cut up about an onion, a, a white onion, and you put it in there and you fry up the onion for just a little while. Um, you let it cook in, in, into the bacon grease till it's nice and translucent. Then what I do is I go ahead and I grab the sauerkraut that's been drained and I take it and I put it in there and I start to let it cook off here just a little bit. I, I want to scrape up all that essence that's on the bottom of the pan. So then after the bacon's cooled, you kind of let it cook off a little bit. The bake is nice and crispy and what you do is you crumble it up and you, and you put it back into the sauerkraut and you let it kind of cook in. Now the last thing I do is I go ahead and cut up the sausage. I get some, I, here I have smoked Polish from, from Stoisage. Cut it in about four inch pieces and then I just kind of lay it on top of the sauerkraut. And I'm gonna let it cook there for you know hour, maybe two hours. If it gets a little dry, I'm gonna put a little bit of beer in there uh, to keep it moist, but you can let that cook off until you're ready to eat. And the longer it cooks, the more those um, great flavors in there merrier. And as you can see right there, such a great product. You take it out and serve it to the family on St. Joseph's Day. We're gonna cook up some pierogies. We have some great treats, we have some kolaches too. So, you know, St. Joseph's Day is a big deal for us Polish of the Polish heritage. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Click on the link either above, below, or to the side, however it's presented to you for the recipe where I wrote it out on my blog. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. And of course, for any and all of your real estate needs in Omaha, Nebraska, feel free to call Chris Bober at Nebraska Realty. Thanks and I'll see you next time.